the thrill, the escapism of breaking the law of speed and controlling a dangerous breakneck vehicle behind the safety of a TV screen. This is the fantasy and the allure of racing in video games. Ever since the dawn of a medium as tactile as video gaming, racing games have accompanied the staple of shooters and adventure genres. Every single gaming platform, from tiny handheld quartz displays, darkened neon and blazoned arcades, to massive supercomputers, have been putting gamers into the virtual roadway to race behind the wheel. Many are quick to dismiss the racing game as a niche genre. The popularity of conventional racing games emulates our favorite fantasy of driving across the world's harrowing roadways. But let's take a look at how the modern racing video game has evolved into the masterclass, which is Forza, born on the Xbox. Forza Motorsports started on the original Xbox in 2005, one of the only mainline competitors to the industry leader, Gran Turismo, on PlayStation with a seven-year head start with four fantastic games released before Forza was born. Since then, the Forza series has steadily overtaken Gran Turismo as the premier racing game on consoles. We all have fond memories of incredible arcade racers from Need for Speed, Burnout, and Project Gotham, and even sideshow greats like Mario Kart. But looking at the racing sim genre, Forza has been planted top podium for the past decade. Playground Games, the talented team behind the Forza Horizon series, won over the racing crowd with an open-world RPG driving game that satisfies the fantasy to have access to the most exotic cars in a beautiful landscape. Forza Horizon may be considered an arcade racer with its open world and loose forgiving physics, but over the years, as Horizon has moved from a bustling festival in Colorado over to the south of France, and with critical acclaim, Forza Horizon has become the highest quality unmatched, only on Xbox consoles. But once Forza Horizon was jet set to Australia in 2016, the Horizon series had become a household name. With over 10 million players joining the festival in the Outback in its two-year lifespan, Forza Horizon 3 got a 91 review score across the industry, proving that a racing game can be more than just a niche experience. In fact, Forza Horizon 3 won over non-racing fans from all walks of gaming to become a staple in the game library. Once Playground Games had added Blizzard Mountain and the irresistible Hot Wheels loop-to-loop -loop beachside expansions, everyone knew that true talent and imagination was behind the best racing game. And when Playground Games announced the fourth installment in the Forza Horizon series, fans have been salivating to continue the open world experience, and many had never left. Taking a cursory look at the newest Forza Horizon 4 in the demo and promotional footage, there is more detail, more immersion, and more breadth to a game that already offered the world. Before we get started talking about the amazing driving and exploration experience, let's take a look at some of the new additions. In previous Horizon games, the human interaction was a bit awkward and obviously set mostly off-camera. Character models were limited and animations at bare minimum. After all, this is a racing game, and most humans were meant to be seen as blurs as you tour by the festival hub. But Forza Horizon 4 is not all about the cars. It's about your friends. It's about the competitors in a massive festival, and Playground proves here that they can create convincing people and characters, which very well could be the foundation for their other team building Fable 4. In fact, Fable 4, the next open-world RPG on Xbox, could also have dynamic weather and seasons thanks to Forza Horizon 4. Once a week in real time, the seasons will change from autumn at launch to winter, spring, and then summer by week 4 of release. But Forza Horizon 4 does something that most other racers, even Forza Motorsport 7, does not do. Each game session, regardless of season changes, has a dynamic day and night cycle working like a clock. And with that day-night cycle comes lifelike skies, changing the weather that offers sunny, overcast, cloudy, stormy, and brilliant sunrises and photo-op-worthy sunsets. All of this explodes with color in the open world or during the hundreds of varied races. 
But is Forza Horizon just an arcade racing game? Well, if it is just an arcade game, that makes it even more mainstream as simulation racers have limited appeal. But the Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport Sim series are multi-billion dollar franchises. And thanks to the Motorsport series and resources with Turn 10, Forza Horizon feels much more than just an arcade racer. Thanks to the Forza DNA, cars in Horizon have finely tuned weight, grip, acceleration and handling authentic to the cars they emulate. You can take a corner at 120 miles an hour in Forza Horizon, but you may regret it when the rumble triggers warn you of your loss of grip, weight transfer, and the overheating brakes. Forza Horizon 4 is also a fully-fledged RPG with perks and levels to broaden the experience of racing competitively. It satisfies the racer's need for simulated racing with options to make the difficulty more realistic while still remaining the most fun racer in the open world. Speaking of cars, Forza Horizon 4 boasts over 450 cars, each fully customizable inside and out with custom liveries, paint schemes and upgrades from the drivetrain to the gearbox and anything else a car enthusiast could ask for. Races take place on preset routes, circuits and take driving across the countryside on and off road, rambling over hills and dips crashing through fences, through walls, while the rumble simulates the feel of gravel, meadows, and mud. Forza Horizon has showcase events racing against larger-than-life vehicles like planes, trains, and hovercrafts. The Forza Motorsport series since 2013 has always been a 60 frames affair, and last year when Playground Games enhanced Forza Horizon 3 to native 4K, they claimed they could offer a 60 frames mode. And many had doubts. Now, Forza Horizon 4 runs in an eye-popping native 4K at 30 frames with some of the most impressive per-object motion blur that feels smooth and judder-free. Playing in this mode offers paramount clarity of presentation, but Playground Games was not balking when they claimed 60 FPS was possible in their open world. With Horizon 4 built from the ground up with the Xbox One X in mind, the game offers a 1080p 60fps mode that makes the game shine brilliantly with smooth frame transitions. Making Forza Horizon 4 feel like Forza 7 in the open world, the tactile response of Forza DNA in the controller translates amazingly at 16 milliseconds, allowing each frame a more clear image throughout gameplay. Paling titles like The Crew 2, Drive Club, and Need for Speed held back at 30fps. Gran Turismo Sport on the PS4 Pro, although a checkerboarded 60fps title, has been hailed as the better looking racer compared to Forza 7, but it does not stand a chance to the breadth, scope and the beauty of Forza Horizon on Xbox One X. Forza is not a multiplayer or a single player racer. It's an open living and breathing experience that allows up to 72 real players online in the world to race, cruise or attack challenges alongside each other. Drivatars also populate the landscape to create a hybrid experience of being invited to this massive racing festival. There is always something to do with or without friends, barn finds, collectibles and challenges, fully cooperative or solo or competitive all at the same time. However you choose to play, it's all entirely organic with no restrictions. Fans of racing have logged in frequent sessions of Forza Horizon Thanks to expanded content and procedurally generated events off and online, Forza Horizon 4 is already penned to continue to dominate the placement in racing games. Are racing games niche? It's a ridiculous assumption when we look back at Pole Position, OutRun, in USA, Need for Speed, Gran Turismo and Forza, racing games that have made an appearance on every form of gaming media. And although not as prevalent as the first person shooter or adventure game, Racing games are a mainstay of gaming, and Forza, especially the Forza Horizon series, has truly made its mark on the racing genre, bringing it into the mainstream and quite possibly one of the year's highest rated games next to powerhouses like God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're just as excited as I am to play Forza Horizon 4 this fall. If you're not sure, the game is in Game Pass. You can try it for $10 for the entire month. One common theme I've been seeing this past couple of years is what I would call the absolute. 
Fans are quick to dismiss the corner of success Xbox and Microsoft has with Forza. The past two years since the beginning of 2016 have been very sparse for Xbox with first party titles, but Forza has been very successful and absolutes dismiss it for being niche. If you're a fan of gaming, it's easy to see the achievement of Forza Horizon for being the top rated game on the platform. And Microsoft does a few things better and Forza Horizon is definitely one of them. I predicted that Spider-Man would get an 88 last month on my video. I thoroughly love that game. And I predict that Horizon 4 will get a 90. Let's see how that shakes out in the next two weeks. If you like this video and the content, please subscribe for more. This is an Xbox centric channel, but it's okay to like things on both sides. And it's certainly okay to show your preference, especially if you can do that without bashing the other platform. Let's see how that works. Don't be an absolute. Enjoy gaming, be fair, and please, be nice. I'm gonna go play that Forza Horizon demo one more time now.